TikTok can be a great place for chefs to show off their impeccable recipes. Gordon Ramsay might even see your video and duet it, which can be either a good thing or a very bad thing. Um, just a few weeks ago, I saw a TikTok of a pasta recipe that blew up, and it looked absolutely delicious. I want that pasta to blow up my asshole after I eat 17 portions of it. But I can't because I'm on the cut now, I know. Looks Maxine is a full-time job that is harder than working at a Walmart, that's for sure. I digress. We've seen chefs go viral for all of the best reasons and also all of the worst. From molesting their food to making drink mixes in a toilet and even to making a sauce that looks like it would inflate me like the blueberry girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory if I ingested it. <laughs> Much like the bottle that the sauce was actually sold in. A new chef on TikTok is rising to the top currently. A chef who is the king of all rednecks, a title that I thought that I held. Wait, no. Actually, I would be the king of all hillbillies because I live in Pennsylvania. Yep, redneck is reserved for those who live in the deep south, such as the great state of Florida. So, you know, I don't want to appropriate the redneck culture. I'll stick with my hillbilly and hick culture till the day I die. Of course, the man who went viral for making a garlic and shrimp mash on an airplane bathroom is from Florida. No income tax equals also no chill. Today I'll be reacting to some of his wildest TikToks and trying not to projectile vomit while doing so. I did get this video idea from Anna Marie Forcino. However, I was planning on making a video about this guy for a few weeks, but seeing her video did prompt me to actually get pick up my bootstraps and make this video. Let's get into it. Barfly777, also known as the Bathroom Chef, two words you've never heard put together in a sentence before, is a creator on TikTok with 185,000 followers. He doesn't go by his real name for reasons that will soon be revealed. I mean, if he really wanted to go all the way, he could have hit his face too, but that would have ruined the interpersonal aspect of his videos. I want to see the face of the man who is committing all sorts of atrocities in hotel bathrooms. Let me see the offender. To be honest, there should be a list of registered TikTok offenders, chefs who have violated the sacred art of cooking in one way or another. Call that shit Luke's Law because I feel personally victimized by their videos. I don't want to move in next door to a man who fingers his fruits or cooks steak in the back of a toilet. Barfly's posts have blown up more than a few times. After his airline atrocity went viral, worse than 9-11 perhaps, he was even on an Australian news station to do an interview. Yes, a news station. And why Australia? I don't fucking know. Do you ever give a thought to the housekeeping staff who are coming in and find <laughs> blood and guts on a pillowcase? Yes, <laughs> but I've, I've pretty much figured out how to cover my tracks and make sure that... Uh... He has to be killing people on the side, right? Like, where does it end? When, when is he gonna start cooking human thighs in the bathroom toilets. My question is why doesn't he just rent a house or an Airbnb with a kitchen in it? Why does he insist on cooking in the fucking hotel bathroom? I'm not gonna question a Florida man. That's the biggest mistake you could make and a cardinal sin. You know, he seems like a nice guy, okay, who's trying every trick in the book to kill himself, but um, let's just watch the videos and maybe, maybe after this I'll try making my own bathroom meal, hmm, maybe? <gasps> Who knows? <gasps> Let's just start off with the Mile High Bathroom Garlic and Shrimp Mash, because this one is by far one of the fucking craziest ones he's ever uploaded. Listen, I've never been on a plane before. It, when I go on my first flight, I'm going to make sure there's nothing in there that could get those TSA agents set off on me. The last thing I want is to be tackled in airport security, okay? Because they do target white people more than anyone else, and I worry about that, okay? They're going to scan me, and they're going to look at my pants, and they're going to see that something is missing. I'm not ready to get sexually assaulted. This man is going on an airplane with... Six volt batteries, wires, just you name it, it's on there. And listen, I'm not going to look up right now how to make a pipe bomb because I will be arrested quicker than I can say fuck, okay? 
I know the general ideas of how you make a contraption like that. Coming on a plane with six volt batteries and wires and all sorts of fucked up shit like that should, should. set the uh, airport security off in your direction. They should be like, wait a minute, what does that guy have on him? Spoiler alert, no, he got on the plane. I, you know, I really hope these TSA agents aren't working when the next 9-11 happens. Because, girl. What bothers me about this video is he has the great value versions of these food items. Couldn't you have purchased something of high value, high luxury? You're on a Delta Airlines cooking in the bathroom with Walmart brand food. At least put some effort into it. How long was he in there? I, I really hope this was a short flight. Imagine he's on a flight from New York City to like Sydney, Australia. It's like a 17 hour flight. And he's just in the bathroom for an hour. Everyone's out there like, man, come on, I'm gonna shit myself. Someone's walking down the aisle, just shit leaking out of them like that one video. They're like, dude, come on. I've been holding this shit in for fucking six hours. What are you doing in there? We just smell the smell of fish coming out of there. Oh my God, that man must have ate something really rancid before he got on this flight. How did he get on this flight with all the stuff in his suitcase? That's the first question. How did he walk in the bathroom with all of the stuff on him and no one's questioning it? Or maybe he just brought a backpack in there, right? Yeah, backpack that weighs 30 pounds. Hey, sir, what do you have in there? It's square and it has wires coming out of it. Is that what I think it is? Is that a PlayStation 5? Because God, I am fucking bored. <laughs> I want to know what's going through all the other passengers' minds when this guy walks in there, is in there for six hours cooking this shit, comes out with shrimp and mashed potatoes. Hey man, where did you get that food from? Did They they should have done a cavity search on this man because he was hiding that shrimp up his butthole, obviously. Get this man to the nearest psychologist because I know he needs to be diagnosed with, you know, I'm sorry. I'm armchair diagnosing. I know people don't like it when you do that. I'm sorry. I, I take it back. I take it back. He's perfectly normal and healthy and definitely doesn't have anything going on in his brain to make him actually ingest the food. The next step is porta potty soup. That is the next step. That is the next logical step. After that, after he finally gets arrested for um, violating the whole of an on a porta potty, okay? When he's in prison, that will be the ultimate show of his content, the ultimate show of his skills, because he is going to have to make so much food in the prison toilet. It's it's gonna be incredible. I'm actually hoping and praying this guy gets arrested. I usually don't like to wish ill on people, but my God, do I hope this man gets arrested so that. I can see his prison recipes. <sighs> Jesus, if you can grant me one wish, this is it. Next is easy French onion soup, because the easiest thing to do is pull out a car battery to cook your food. If I were to eat that food, right? I think if any of us other than this man who clearly has some some sort of Im immune, special immunity to things, I think they need to cut him open like they almost did to Ellie in The Last of Us. He needs to be studied. How he's able to eat this stuff and not die is incredible to me. Because I'll tell you what, I think if any of us even just did a lick of that, one of us would get polio. In fact, I think there would be new diseases that mankind has never heard of if anyone other than this man decided to drink that soup. You know, another thing that comes to my mind when I'm watching his videos is if I, you know, was married to this man, which 
listen, we're not going to think about that right now, but if I happen to be married to him, if I was his child or related to him in any sort of way, even if I was just friends with him, I don't know why my mind went to marriage first, I would be nervous for him to cook me food. I would be thinking to myself, did you just cook that food in our toilet? Because I just took a massive a butthole exploding uh, shit in that toilet. Did you seriously just cook our food in that? He's going to say, no, I didn't, honey. I just used it on the Dutch oven on the, the stove, okay? Did you? No. I smoked it on my butthole. Look at the way he pulled that baguette out of that. That packaging. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to that. I'm just, I'm never going to get over that. It is always shocking to me. It's one thing to make the food. It is one thing to... Don't fucking interrupt me, TikTok. Thank you. <laughs> it's one thing to make the food. It's another thing to put it in a bowl, serve it to yourself, and eat it. Now, yes, he's disinfecting these things. Sure. There's things I've done in the bathroom that I, I wouldn't even dare to admit to online. Someone comments... I have literally came in a hotel sink. 23,000 likes. See, why did you have to admit to that? We live in a time where online, you can just say the worst thing you've ever done, and you will be praised for that thing. Now, if I were to tell you guys some of the worst things I've done, I wouldn't have a platform anymore. <laughs> Bathroom baby back ribs. Look at him, cuddling up to that dead fucking pig. Do you feel good about yourself? Huh? <laughs> Imagine if you're a vegan watching this video, you're doubly traumatized. The way the blood splatters on that fucking wall and he just doesn't wipe it down either. He's not concerned about it. Why does it matter? Because it doesn't. What the pillowcase? Does he pay? Does he pay to replace those pillowcases? Because if he doesn't, this man is a menace to minimum wage workers. Yeah, place your ribs in a 200 degree oven, such as a pillowcase with a rack and a hair dryer. <laughs> oh, ow. Guys, I was boxing yesterday and my whole upper body hurts. Oh my God. It's like I bruised a fucking rib. It hurts to fucking laugh. Good thing I don't laugh that often. You know what you're doing. It looks like... <laughs> I don't even want to say what it looks like. What is going through my mind right now? Because what's going through my mind right now is like when they show you those ink splotches and you, you see the worst thing. If you see the worst thing, you're a psychopath, right? If you see the bat instead of the butterfly, there's something wrong with you. What just ran through my head what that pillowcase looks like right now? I can't even, I don't even know if I can say it on YouTube. Glaze with honey, put it back in the oven. Like I said, a pillowcase on top of a fucking iron board in the bathroom with a toilet right behind it. You know, it must work pretty fucking well, to be honest. Sometimes I gotta leave that baked potato in the oven for like... First of all, never put a baked potato in the damn goddamn oven. Put that damn shit in the fucking microwave. That's a real hick. That's my hick hack for today. Put the fucking potato in the microwave. If you put a potato in the oven attempting to bake it, it's gonna take six hours in the oven. Even if you put it on 400 degrees. If they take so long to cook, I'm done. You know what? I might just try this shit at home. Why are you gonna lay on the bed like that? Hey, honey, I made you some baby back ribs for our Valentine's Day dinner tonight. I'm nice and greasy for you right now. And I cooked them in the pillowcase just like you like it, baby. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Hotel bathroom jerky. Now, jerky is an intensive process to make. How is this man gonna make it in a hotel?
when I, when I clicked on this video and, and saved it for me to ultimately criticize brutally in this video, I thought to myself, I love that this guy is trimming the fat off of already marbled meat, by the way. It already has a ton of fat in it, so let's get that out of the way. It's trimming the fat on meat just to cook it in the ice bucket he got from the hotel in the hotel bathroom. D is the fat really gonna affect you at this point? Is it? Because I think th what, what you need to worry about is the leftover jizz and pubes that someone left in that bathroom sink before you. Namely me. <laughs> Marinate a few hours. You know, let's say you're at Disney World. You just want... You're going to go check out a couple rides, come back, check on your beef, um, and then we're going to cook it. It's all good. You guys can go have go have your fun at Universal. Um, it'll be waiting for you when you come back. I mean, these poor pillowcases. What did they ever do to you? Standard dehydrator. You, it, guys, again, the dehydrator as in the hair dryer. These terms are interchangeable. An iron, when you hear hair iron, immediately I'm thinking of steak searer. Okay. I'm sorry. He left the hair dryer on all night? I don't even leave that shit plugged in. It's like the toaster. You don't leave it plugged in. That I would never attempt at home because next thing I know, I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night. Whole house is going to be burnt down. I'm just going to, it's like a fucking cartoon. I'm just going to be standing in the rubble of my house. Somehow the flames miss me. That's God. He will take your whole house from you, but he'll leave you alive. So that you can watch everything crumble and disappear from you in your very eyes. You know what's chewy? And this, I have to recommend that you check this out, Barfly. What's chewy is human feet. I've chewed on those puppies a few times in my life. All of this I don't have a problem with. You want to bring a little portable stove top, that's what's called, with you, and you want to steer something on it in the bathroom, would I advise against it? Sure. But that, I'll, I'll let it slide. See, that I, I can't let slide. I watched his interview with that news station, and he claims that, although the back of the toilet's actually very clean. It's very clean back there. Is it? Sure, it's the clean water from the toilet. But it's still the back of the toilet. <laughs> the bathroom shower is clean when you put Clorox on it. But it's still the bathroom shower. We draw these... Or divisions in life, okay? So that we know one thing you eat the and the other thing you don't eat in, okay? This is how we've evolved as a society to stay alive, okay? How the fuck does he clean out the back of that toilet? You couldn't pay me. Actually, yes, you could just give me 20 bucks. You couldn't pay me to grab a shot glass and drink out of that toilet. Is that a dog bowl? A success. Some of these have gotten the music stripped off of them because of TikTok's copyright disaster. It's haunting to watch them without any music. <laughs> Assemble a traditional smoker, again, such as some old Pringles cans. How does he even know to do this stuff, okay? It's, it is one thing to disinfect everything before you use it. It's another thing to use the bin in the bathroom and not even wipe out whatever's in the bottom of that. 
there's some sort of clear liquid in the bottom of it. That could be someone's spinal fluid. And you are just leaving it in there for flavor. <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, if this guy chose to make food in his home like a normal human being, you know, I think it'd be pretty good. So I scrolled all the way down on his page to get the first video he ever posted. And this is by far the scariest, most unhinged video. Not because he does anything extremely unhinged. You'll see, just. Spaghetti in the hotel bathroom skillet. Yep. Boil noodles. They're so plump. Not the shower video. Listen, the only reason I'm taking a video in the shower and sending it, or I'm not putting that shit online because if I'm taking a video in the shower, to pour that someplace sanitary oh yeah someplace sanitary look how much he's devolved this was posted in 2021 in three years pour that somewhere sanitary now we're gonna pour that in the toilet bowl oh yeah <laughs> well what do you think safe no it's that one's alarmingly close to your big toe the one maybe on the floor over there that's safe the closer they get to the, your toes, that's the least safe, okay? Those hogs are really out there, though. Pepper to make it. Hey, more power to you. I'm sorry, I just gotta replay that cliff for research purposes. Let that melt down. That cheese sauce looks like if I melted someone's bowels. Don't ask how I know what that looks like, by the way. Okay, we're gonna watch. I'm gonna. I have three more videos saved. We're gonna watch one more. Um, which one's the best? Let's see. Authentic bathroom nachos. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this one. The color of that water should not ever be that color. Success. It didn't say that, but I. Why didn't you put the text to to speech thing on that? I like I like it when you do that, Barfly. Please, can you bring that back? Uh, success. Success. That that makes everything better. Today I'm gonna be making nachos in my toilet. See, even the um text to speech AI is confused. Toilet? Huh? And of course he's sitting. Does he have his pants pulled down right now? Help! Help! Brother, I think you might need to get checked out for IBS. If you got a shit that quick after eating some fucking nachos, I don't know what to tell you. I don't. I'm gonna click off that. I think I've got a good enough idea of this guy's content. Um, it's scary, it's disturbing to watch, and more importantly, it's disturbing to watch. So, with all of that being said, after reacting to... Uh, too many of his videos for me to count and too many for my brain to handle. I'm gonna attempt to recreate one of his recipes. I have a toilet, I have a sink, because I do have plumbing in my home. I don't live in the 1700s, medieval London. And hopefully it turns out well. And because you all know I like to commit to the bit, I will be eating it. Let's get to cooking. Alrighty, hello. Welcome to the bathroom. Many things happen in here. But the one thing that's never happened in here is me cooking food. I'm gonna wipe out the sink. I have a plan. I can't do exactly what he does because one, I don't have a lot of counter space in this bathroom and two, I don't have any of the fancy things he has to cook not on like a stove or in an oven. So the plan is I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes in here. I boiled some water, it's boiling on the stove right now. And then I have a pillowcase that I got here, a spare pillowcase, and I'm gonna take the hair dryer Put the hair dryer on the pillow, put it on the toilet, put the, or if I can, I might have to put it on the floor, put the hair dryer in there, and I'm gonna cook some shrimp in the pillow case. <laughs> but I'm gonna stand here and watch it because there's no way I'm leaving this hair dryer on for too long. And I do have cooked shrimp, so it technically, it, it's not gonna kill me it, it, when I, if I don't cook it enough. Dawn Platinum Power Wash. <gasps> All right, I'm just gonna wipe this out. It's still disgusting. This doesn't, 
This changes nothing. All right, that's as clean as a sink is gonna get. I'm gonna get my mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put the packaged dehydrated mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put that in here, then pour the boiling water in here, and then maybe get a good little bit of butter, mash it together with my hands, and then we're gonna get a bowl to put that in, and we'll set that off to the side, and then we're gonna work on the shrimp. Okay, that's the plan. Got our tablespoon of butter. I'm just gonna plop that in there. The fucking thing doesn't work, so I have to stuff a tube of toothpaste under it for it to stay like that. All right, here's our mashed potatoes. I've got about, I think, like a cup of water, so I'm just gonna put, I don't wanna waste too much, so I'm just gonna put, I don't know, like, that much in there should be good. See, he doesn't have to worry about wasting food because he actually eats it. Ooh, steam my face. Mm -hmm. Because he actually is uh, psychotic enough to eat it. All right, let's just, I'll just pour the rest in there. Oh, my knife. Let's, let's stir it around with my knife. Yeah, you guys need to see this. Oh, let me maybe wipe that off first. Look at that. We got our butter. You guys like that? Mm -hmm. You like that, you dirty little bitch? All right. Oh, that's not focused at all. Come on, man. There we go. Yeah. Actually, that's kind of good. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna get a bowl to scoop this in. All right. Make sure we really scrape the bottom of this out, get all that sink flavor in there. I cooked way too much, I feel terrible now. Some starving kid needs this and I'm just like, yeah, let's cook all these mashed potatoes. Yeah. Look, I made way too much. All right, next is the shrimp, which I have prepared. I put some butter on it, some honey, garlic, and Italian seasoning, okay? This is frozen. The shrimp is super frozen, so I have no idea how long this is gonna take. I should have thought it, but I, I didn't. <laughs> Let's plug this hair dryer in. Again, I'm not leaving this unattended because that scares me. Let's plug it in. Oh, oh Jesus. So we got our shrimp in there and I'm just gonna put the hair dryer in there. All right, this might be loud. Also, don't try this at home. There's no way he left this thing on all night. I don't even know how he tied this. Oh my God, I don't know how this man does it. You know, I gotta give him more respect. I gotta give someone respect where respect is due. Because how he do does this and miraculously doesn't cause a fire, incredible to me. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg. It smells like it's cooking. That is so disturbing. It's fucking ice cold. The butter barely even melted. I think I have to leave this thing on for like three hours to cook this damn shrimp. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? When all else fails, throw it in the microwave. On this metal sheet, of course. This poor pillowcase. Looks like something else was done in that pillowcase, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, snap, crackle, pop. Pillow shrimp. That's a saying, right? I do declare my shrimp is done. Uh -huh. God, she's got a sticker. Nose and everything. Literally. This shrimp is cooked, baby. Ooh, that's hot. Look at that. You know it's cooked because it's shriveled up like a fucking virgin's asshole. I don't know. So the shrimp, I'm not as scared to eat. Um, because, God, I put it inside of a clean pillowcase. It didn't touch anything gross. So, we'll just have a little bit of this. Also, it's 11 a.m. And there's, there's one thing about me, you know I love eating seafood at 11 a.m. See a close up on that? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Let me try one that doesn't look as chewy. Nope, just as chewy, okay. Kiara, you're blocking the frame. Now this, I'm a little scared to eat. Here, you wanna taste it first? Huh? Oh, she loves it. I'm actually nervous, because I keep just thinking about the fact that I spit in that sink every day. Why are we still here? 
Next thing you know, I'm going to start doing fucking pull-ups on the cabinets and sit-ups on the fucking counter. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm ready. Why are we still here? What are we doing? Just to suffer. I did it, yay! <laughs> the airplane overhead? That's the feds are finally coming for me. I don't know what I've done. Quick, I've got to throw out the mashed potatoes. Oh god, they're out there! They're right up there! Oh god, I know, I know! Oh, sorry god, I know I wasted the food, I'm really sorry. I'll leave the shrimp here. Maybe my mom will eat it. Was this a success? Absolutely. I love ingesting toothpaste. <laughs> All right. Again, don't try this at home. But if you were to try it at home, let me know how it goes. Okay. All right, I've been talking long enough. That's it for this video. And that's it for me. Let me know what you all thought about this guy's content, what you thought about this video in general. Anything else you want to say, please comment it down below. Seriously though, I hope you all enjoyed this video. But more importantly, I really, really hope I see you in the next video. I better see you in the next video. Bye. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no money.